Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And we are back to the countdown to Christmas, only one day to go. Today is the day, brothers and sisters, when you need to commit yourself to the Kingdom of God and come out of the world, Babylon and the churches. The Kingdom of God is not a worldly Kingdom. The Kingdom of God does not belong to this world, its temptations and everything. The Kingdom of God here on earth will only be restored when we have a new heaven and a new earth, as it is written in the end of the book of Revelation. Until then it will be given over to the principality of the air, who is now residing in the second heaven, Satan himself. From there he will be thrown out by after the war with the Archangel Michael, mid of the trumpet tribulation. Are we there now? No. We are at the beginning of the seal tribulation, seven years to go before the trumpets will start, or at least six years. The time is here now, the judgments will fall, the justice will be rendered to the earth. But this is not the wrath of the Lamb, nor is it the wrath of God. Then, because we know that we are not part of the rest. It's written in the scripture that we will not be part of the rest. But that not meaning that we will not be shaken to wake up, that we will not be disturbed in our slumbering position that we have taken in our churches, in our religious spirits, in our faith that we Proclaim it from the kingdom of God, but it is worldly. I made two important videos today and I hope you have watched it about it. Especially this one about winning souls. It's all about the kingdom and you need to proclaim that the kingdom has come. Not that your church has come or that your pastor has come. Or elevate your pastors above other people. Only because he has a gift to speak better than others. This all has nothing to do with the Kingdom of God. The Kingdom of God is your family. It's a family community where you are a son and daughter of the King that sits and rules on the throne. The Kingdom of God is not a democracy. The King will give the commands. He will rule and his subject will follow. So if you, if you claim that you belong to the Kingdom, then you cannot bring this, such statements forth that I see all the time in the churches or what you do there. It's impossible. Then you are not part of the kingdom because you are not following the rules of the king that sits on the throne. And if you do not follow the rule of the king, then the king will send out his princes to punish you as he has done so many times with Israel when they were not following him. He came to punish them. And so now he's standing at the door to punish the churches because they, were, they are not following his rule. They are not proclaiming the kingdom. They are proclaiming their own small place, their own names, not the name of God. They are not winning souls for the kingdom of heaven. They are winning members for their churches so that their money bags get filled so that they have a bigger church and a bigger car and a bigger congregation and more influence in the world, not in the kingdom of heaven, in the world. And that people say, oh, this is a great speaker and a great pastor. He knows everything. And in reality, he knows nothing. The only thing that he knows is to promote, to promote himself. Winning souls for eternity is something completely different. That is taking children taking adults, taking people out of a strange land, the world, and taking them out and returning them to the place where they always belong to, the kingdom of heaven, to bring them into eternal life, to tell them that they, they have a true father, and that true father is God Almighty. This has nothing to do with world, worldly affairs or anything like that. 
not to do with religion not to do with denominations it's a question of citizenship where do you belong to to the world the strange land or you belong to your home the place that you have always that you come from before you were born the kingdom of heaven and that kingdom of heaven has one king God Almighty sitting on the throne and a, and a co-heir for that throne the firstborn sitting to his right hand Jesus Christ and we as adopted co-heirs not as eligible for the throne but co-heirs with Jesus Christ as brothers and sisters to him but also as part of his bride this is a kingdom where we feel as family where we can say God is our father our true father and I have faith in him child like faith because I am a child of the most high I am a true son and daughter of the God in heaven and I know that the Father will bless me and take care of me no matter what will happen to me because I do not belong to this world. I have nothing to do with it here but I belong to the kingdom of God, to my Father and my Father and whenever I have a problem I will call to him, I will cry before his feet and as a true Father he will help and lift me up. Wipe away my tears, take me out of the prison that the world has put me in take me out of any lockdown and take me into the sky into the heavens to transform me as a prince or princess of his kingdom win souls for eternity not churches win souls for eternity not denomination win souls for eternity not for religious spirits don't elevate your churches up or you will be taken down very badly the judgment starts at the house of the Lord and it will start now at the churches many churches will fall the Lord is sending a new Pharaoh that is coming against you as a Pharaoh came against the Israelites now a new Pharaoh the new Antichrist will come against the churches he will lock them all down he will take them all off only the ones remaining that are totally kingdom based that are truly for the purpose of the kingdom but they are very few, very, very few. Most of them have all fallen away, either on the right or on the left side. Wrong doctrines, doctrines of once saved, always saved, doctrines of, of a gospel of grace, a gospel of salvation, instead to follow the gospel of the kingdom and to bring the people into the kingdom of God by showing forth the principle of that kingdom of love, mercy and compassion and not of fighting with one another over Bible verses or elevating one denomination over the other one or proclaiming that your church is better than the next that is all of the devil religious spirit have entered the house of the Lord and has made it a den of thieves and murderers churches allowing ab ab abortions churches that are not standing up against the evil ruler in the land because they are afraid to lose their privileges Winning souls is for eternity, for the kingdom of God. Speak about the kingdom of God only. When you introduce people to Jesus, introduce the people to the kingdom of God. Don't let everything end at the cross when there is a resurrection, when there is a 40 days of, of serving the Father again for a harvest, when there is an ascension to the Holy of Holies. The church end at the cross. Great mistake. That's the reason why they have fallen into a worldly way. Because they do not understand scripture. They do not understand what happened after the three days in the grave. They do not grasp the importance of the resurrection. The 40 days on earth and then the ascension to the throne of God. They do not understand this. They keep it out because they do not understand. Therefore, they have fallen into the hands of the enemy. But you, you know that the cross, the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus and the 40 days are a main point of his ministry. They all need to be seen together so that you can understand the kingdom of God. One day to go, brothers and sisters. Join now, be part of it. Support the 
the Christmas to New Year, Ark of Refuge, Support Drive. Be part of it. This arc, these Arcs of Refuge can be your last straw when you are standing almost in front of Antichrist. Do not miss out. Do not stand before the door of such an Ark and you cannot come in because you were not part of it to build it. This is a time to step forward for the Kingdom of Heaven and, and the Ark of the Refuge are the Kingdom places here on Earth. They are the embassies of the Kingdom of Heaven. They are for Kingdom purposes, not for self-elevation and righteousness. They are for protection and covering, where the God Himself will cover His children, His true sons and daughters that are getting birthed right now. Brothers and sisters, one day to go, make up your mind. Remain in the world, Babylon and the churches, and face the Antichrist without protection, walking a path without wonders and miracles, or choose the path of life for the kingdom. Become a true ambassador, a part of the remnant army of kings and priests, and walk in the wonders and miracles that the Lord will bestow unto you. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.